Talk it over. Maybe we. Good evening, Cape Ann. Welcome to our show. This is Local Music Scene. I'm your host, Alan Estes, and we always like to say we bring the music to you. We have a great music scene happening here on Cape Ann, which uh, I'm very proud to be a part of. Uh, we have a special guest here tonight, a dear friend of mine. We go way back as far as uh, performers and singer-songwriters, so I'm going to have a lot of fun talking with her tonight and uh, join with her husband playing bass. But first, I get to do a song, so uh, bear with me and then we will talk. This is called The Longing. Sunrise sneaks in the room where we're sleeping. We rise silently safe in love's keeping. Morning's time we love most of all. But those days are gone. are gone, those days are gone, and the longing has just begun. Long walks down by that lazy old river, small talks, whispers that speak of forever Sundays love in the afternoon but those days are gone those days are gone those days are gone and the longing has just begun Tell me what am I doing alone at this table for one? Yeah, it's all over now and the memories are coming on strong. Twilight shadows that dance on the ceiling. Midnight lost in the love that we're feeling passionate fires that burn all night long those days are gone those days are gone those days are gone and the longing is just be Longing. <laughs> really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And once again, welcome to our show. Uh, my special guest this evening, as I said before, is a long time dear friend. Please welcome Julie Doherty. Yeah. Hi, Julie. Hey. Hi, long Woody. time no see. Woody Woodward on bass. My husband. Not very often I get the husband, wife, I and know. duo team I, here. Know. This is wonderful. Yeah. Well, we got lots to talk about. I mean, we I could know. we could talk for hours and hours. hours. 
But uh, first, can we have a song? Sure. Please? Yep. We're this talking one, with uh, Julie Doherty. This one is called Back at My Front Door, and I actually wrote this as an assignment in a songwriting class. Oh, there you it's go. It's a song cool. of opposites. Maybe I can pick along with you yes, a little bit? Yes, I wish you would. It's in the key of A. Everybody. Okay. One, two, oh, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Now when day turns into night And dark shadows light I pace the ceiling and I stare at the floor Now when the evening sun goes down And the morning moon comes round Well I long to see you back in my front door Now, baby, you said that you were right when you left And I've never been so bereft as when I realized I may never see you no more And now I'm bodily mindful Of how you gave me a handful But still I long to see you back in my front door I'm ashamed of my foolish pride and my overly confident air Cause I blindly watched you go while you were thinking I didn't care Now it won't be a first if we don't last Cause our love is a study in contrast and you know how I like to talk And you say less is more there are no lucid illusions But even in this confusion I still long to see you Back in my front door Come on, Alan, take it away Lovers come and lovers go, it can be a revolving door. But when you find the one who turns the key, you don't want to revolve in that door no more. And babe, I can't tell the sun from the moon, or a cleaver from a spoon. I can only tell you what I'm yearning for, cause it don't matter. To me, if it's near or far, I just want to be where you are, and I long to see you back at my front door every night and every day. You know, I long to see you back at my front door. Welcome, Julie Doherty. Thanks, Welcome Alan. to our show. Great, great to have you great here Great to now. be here. I don't even know where to begin with you. You have so many different styles, that, and, and uh, you've, you've played so many different styles. You've been playing for so long. But I guess let's just uh, treat our uh, viewing audience to a little bit of history of how you first got started. I know you sure. come from a musical family. Yep, yep. So let's start there. Yeah, um, my dad played accordion, and my mother played piano. So, I mean, I know you had a musical family, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have three sisters, and we all sang when we were kids. But my sister Kathy, the one closest in age to me, uh, she and I started singing when I was still in grammar school. And we had an agency that represented us. We had the, the polka dot dresses, and uh, we sang wow. harmony really well. And uh, my dad would coach us. He'd be in the other room going, louder, 
louder. <laughs> Good. So we'd sing, we did minstrel shows and we'd, we'd yep. sing into one mic and I had my guitar and I'd bang away and we'd sing these folk songs. So I was really influenced by Judy Collins and the Chad Mitchell Trio and um, so you know, a lot of the folk, folk, music. The folk mm -hmm. music was how I started. But, um, you know, of course the Beatles came out. I was 13. I got my guitar and, um, you know, so that had a lot of influence on Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Well, yeah. So when did you, uh, you know, because, you know, obviously like a kind of a child prodigy, when did you get to the point where you started getting really serious about guitar playing and even thinking about songwriting? I don't know if I ever got serious about guitar playing, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you know, it was a tool to use mm -hmm. to, to back up our voices, basically. And, um, you know, I'm just amazed at people like you and other players that, that are just so, so good. I mean, I, I think I'm a good solid player, but I've never really developed my guitar playing to the point that I would like to have. But well, and you also it, play banjo. and I, mean, I play a little bit of banjo, for, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. been playing for years and yeah. years. So but I mean, it is. It's a tool to use to perform and to write. And, um, you know, and of course, you know, I, my history with you goes back to the mid to late 70s when you were playing at Jonathan Swift's and uh, I used Absolutely. to see you there. But then I used to go follow, I was an Alan Estes groupie, <laughs> and I'd go follow him all over the place, and uh, his band was just you could be on Great. my show anytime. Just, I know, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, and, and I think I started writing seriously more like in the early 80s. I had my own country rock band and, yeah. um, you know, the Dave Malakowski and the, the Donaldson oh, absolutely. boys. And, yep. And, uh, and we so, played yeah. a lot of the same places. We shared a lot of shows together. Yep. And, um, and I, I guess probably, as to my recollection, your earlier style of writing was folk yeah. with some country kind of yes. influences. Yes, yep. But I mean, since then, you've gotten into some jazz and stuff, and you've learned of, you, you, you've taken your whole chord learning. Well, that was only because I got uh, brunch gigs, and so I had to kind of learn some of those. And, uh, and then it did infiltrate itself into some of the writing. But um, I've actually been writing a little bit with my niece, who lives in LA, and she's a pretty good, uh, very successful songwriter. She's actually in Nashville this week at the Bluebird in a round thing. Oh, she goes there all the good. time, and she's. You know, she's done pretty well for herself. So we write via Skype, which is such a wonderful thing to have the computer. I mean, God, years ago. Is that sort of like playing chess by mail or something? Some, but you're there. You can, you know, they might be like a teeny bit of a delay, but we can yeah. play together and see each other on the computer and oh, write wonderful. that way. My so it's, it's really great. But. That's great. That's great. Yeah. So you have put out how many CDs now? Actually, I'm, I'm working on my third or fourth one. Honey, what is this? Fourth. <laughs> okay. Woo! Thank God my go. husband's here. Uh, no, I'm actually in the studio now. It's taking a long time, but it's one of those um, projects that um, I'm glad it's taking a long time because I'm writing for it, and um, I'm in the studio with Bobby Keys, who has a studio in Saugus, and I just oh, yeah. I adore him, yep. and I just so trust him, his judgment. He's, so he's producing it basically, and I've rewritten songs, you know, under his tutelage type thing, and. Um, so it's taking a while because he's actually arranging them and he's playing almost all the guitar on it. Uh huh. So, um, so it's it's another it's a different, totally different uh, scenario for me. Usually, yeah. I just go in and bang away on my guitar. And, and the three CDs that you've done in the past, you still sell out at your gigs. And I still stuff? have two of them. Uh, I'm actually down to my last, I don't know, hundred or so. This was the last one I did about five or six years ago, called "Sweet Unraveling," and um, I think I felt like I was unraveling at the Julie. time that I wrote it. But <laughs> she's unraveling. I was speak. unraveling. I'm back together now. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Well, that's great. So, and, yeah. and, and you've been you've been playing in Gloucester for years. Always played the Rum Line and the Blackburn Tavern. I loved that place. And yeah. just the, Gloucester is such a great music town. I mean, I just people just appreciate the art so much. It's it's just wonderful to come back here. Oh, occasionally. absolutely. I don't play here as much as I'd like to, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and, uh, yeah. and you, it. it We've been doing this oh for years God. and years together. You visited me when I lived in Nashville. Uh, you came down yeah. with, with our friend Linda. We've written songs yep, together. Yep. We've, uh, and it's just really Alan was great. Every show. time I went down to Nashville, he would line me up with some appointments. You need to go see Jim Rooney. You've got to go see so-and-so. And, -so. and um, you know, so it was always a wonderful trip every time we went down there. But unlike you, and you were so dedicated, and you did so well down there for so long, I mean, um, yeah. Alan is just an amazing songwriter. I just have always admired him. Well, but um, he, you were down there for 10 right years and you. just did such a great job. So many songs that you wrote. Well, you know, one thing that we certainly have in common is we don't do it for the money, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we do it because we love it and we will always play music and, yeah. and, and, and our common thread coming from, from musical families and stuff. Yeah. It was I still to this day when I get together with my brothers and my mm -hmm. dad and stuff, 
Let's pull out the guitars, yeah. the mandolins, and let's play some music. Oh, and I mean, you know, and you still sing with your sister. My sister is actually getting back into singing. Yeah, so I've been getting it together with her and learning some new songs that she wants to learn. She doesn't write, but she, um, I mean, she loves Alison Krauss and Nora Jones. Oh, absolutely. And so I'm, I get together with her and learn yeah. the songs. And actually, Taylor Armadang is learning some of the songs as well, and mm -hmm. sometimes yeah, comes and down. Yeah, he plays and, with you and, and Woody, and you have been playing together for years. Oh, my God. Well, we've been married for 21, and together for 31, basically, I guess. But I actually met him, I think before I actually met you. I met you in the early 70s, honey, didn't I? With, you were playing with the Shaw Brothers at the Harp and Bard in Danvers, which was a place that I played quite a bit. Uh -huh. That was the Irish phase. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. You've done That'll that. make you crazy. Well, you that you still Irish do the Irish stuff. Sometimes, no, only don't you? on St. Patty's Day. Oh, well, okay. Well, God, help no. us. No. You can pull it out when you need to. Those songs will make you crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just like the Christmas songs around Christmas <laughs> time, right? This is my 29th year doing Christmas Eve. You oh, got to come goodness. down and sing again. This That's year. right. Julie does. Julie does a Christmas special every year every at the year, uh, yeah. Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, yeah, it's which wonderful. is really really fun. It's always Christmas Eve, right? It's always Christmas Eve from four to seven. It's free, open to the public, and it's packed and there's a lot of musicians who come by and get up and sing and it's really wonderful i mean it's it's the best holiday that's oh, it's, my it's favorite day yeah it's a lot of fun yeah. well can you do another song i for absolutely us? will this We're is one that i julie doherty and her husband woody back there on the bass this is one i wrote with my niece kelly fitzgerald it's called real deal i've looked around and i'm certain i've found the real I've been round the block, I've heard all kinds of talk that just doesn't ring true. But you raise the bar, not afraid to let me see who you truly are. And it's lucky I feel to have found the real. Judge the means by the ends Long as they hold the aces They play all the games And they drop all of the names Of their pals in high places But you wouldn't do that you just send them along with a tip of your hat And it's lucky I feel to have found the real deal
Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's called the real deal. The real deal. Yes. And you wrote that with your niece. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Passing along the torch. That's a beautiful song. Yeah. Well, you know, she is very into country, and we've written some country songs together. And we were having a conversation at the end of one of our sessions because we visit a lot. And she said, you know, my sister Kathy, she's the real deal. And, and so when we signed off, that phrase just kept rumbling around in my head. So the next time we got together, I said, you know that thing you said about real deal? So then we started taking it to more of a jazzy place, which is something she hasn't really done. Yeah. So, we, you know, you influence each other, as you know, when you write with someone else. Beautiful melody, beautiful chords. Thank you. Nice stuff, nice stuff. And that's a pretty fairly recent song? Yes. Good, because I want to talk about some recent things that are going on with okay. you guys. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, I see through, uh, you know, keeping in contact with you, you are still very busy. You play a lot, don't you? Uh, yeah, thank God. A number of dates every month, mm -hmm. and you have a, a, you know, a circuit of a few places that you play on a very yeah. regular basis. Right, and I have about four places that I, I guess you could loosely call them residencies, or, or some places that I go back to all the time mm -hmm. each month. I, um, I'm at the uh, Hawthorne the first Sunday of each month for their branch. I'm at the in a pig's eye in Salem, hosting the open mic the first Monday of each month. Um, and then I do the third Monday of every month at a place in Salem called the Greenland Cafe. And uh, it's great. I do that with Dave Brown. Uh -huh. um, yeah, yeah. And, and also Taylor Armading has been sitting in on that one. Yeah. That's been really great. And then the final Sunday of each month, normally we are at Sally O'Brien's in Somerville. And now it's an mm -hmm. afternoon, and we, we uh, host guests. So That's also have, an open mic kind of thing? It's not an open, it's an invited guest. It's an invited so now we're down, okay. we have three guests per afternoon. It runs one to four. And so each guest gets to do a half an hour set, and they can either have us play with them mm -hmm. or do it solo. And um, it's just a nice venue to yeah, do that yeah. in. Yeah. So, Julia, I like, say in a pig's eye in Salem, if, um, if uh, you know, somebody from around Cape Ann wanted to come to over there on a Monday night, they would have to get there and, and, and uh, sign up. Yeah. And, and, Pretty and they loose. Could get yeah. up and what do two or three songs? Usually it's two, because it's pretty busy there. But busy, it's yeah. such a great uh, group of people that show up fairly regularly, and uh, 